Also happening today, healthcare workers are rallying for a step up in protection and security while on the job. And this all comes after a visiting nurse was brutally murdered in Willimantic over the weekend. Let's get straight to Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Marcy Jones live in the capital city. Marcy, break down what we can expect today. Good morning. Well, loved ones of nurse Joyce Grayson say that the mother and grandmother was very warm, funny, and caring. She dedicated her entire life to helping others. Tragically, her life ended very violently during a house call over the weekend. Now, nurses and other health care workers are calling for answers and action. Recently, lawmakers actually passed increasing legislation to better protect health care workers in hospitals following an alarming uptick in violence. The death of Joyce Grayson over the weekend put the issue back in focus. Healthcare workers and state lawmakers are looking into what can be done to increase protection for visiting nurses. Grayson was killed while visiting a client at a transitional home in Willimantic Saturday. What was supposed to be a 10 minute visit ended in her brutal murder. Police say the suspect in this case is registered sex offender 38 year old Michael Reese, who arrested while carrying some of Grayson's belongings. While Reese is facing several charges, many are asking the question how Grayson was put in a vulnerable and dangerous position like this in the first place. Back out here live, lawmakers and health care workers will gather at the LOB here in Hartford to have their voices heard and discuss a plan of action. This is all happening at 2 p.m. today. Everybody is invited to attend. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.